The Sculptfun has finally released its own version of the rotary roller attachment for use with their laser engravers. But the attachment can also be used with Atomstack, Orter and the J laser engravers and other similar machines. The attachment is large, very well built and highly adjustable. The rubber rollers are very grippy and will be able to keep good grip with many materials. In the package you also get the wiring harness, a tape measure, rubber feet and razor feet for the machine. You will find a link to the rotary attachment in the video description below. I have also included a discount coupon so you could save some money if you decide to buy it. In the package you also get two cables. One to use with the Sculptfun and Atomstack machines and the other to use with Orter and the J laser engravers. Connection is easy. One end goes into the stepper motor and the other end plugs instead of the x-axis motor on the machine. Then you need to install the razor feet on the machine. Let's see what this thing can do. First, I tried to engrave a black anodized aluminium storage can. Black anodized aluminium is perfect for high quality engravings. The result looks very professional, and the engraving is permanent. I used speed of 1500 mm per minute and full power and 0.07 mm step for fill. Adjusting the rollers is easy. First, you need to release the roller and tensioner and slide the roller to the position you want. Use the scale lines on both sides to make sure that the rollers are parallel. And lastly, tighten the belt tensioner. It can be used with cylinders sized from 6mm to 150mm in diameter. Here is an engraving I made on my storage box for my secret spices. Engravings on wood come out very nice. Machine has no problems engraving ceramic cups. Preferably you should engrave stuff by scanning line by line like this ceramic cup. But you need to watch when engraving vector images. All of the rubber roller rotary system designs will start to lose position when engraving complex vector images. The engravings will start to get offset like this pattern I have tried to engrave on this cup. This is why you should always use line by line scanning. But simpler vector designs are still okay. Here is an example of a large engraving I made on a stainless steel thermal flask which is coated with rubber. Laser burns away the rubber, exposing the stainless steel below. You need to adjust the power just enough so that it removes the rubber but does not mark the stainless steel. I used speed of 2000 mm per minute and 50% power. Fill step was set at 0.07 mm. After engraving I cleaned the surface with dish cleaning sponge and water. The result came out amazing. Here is an example for engraving a simpler vector design. This machine has no problem engraving stainless steel directly.
And here is another example of a combined design. The text is engraved with line scanning technique and the image is engraved by tracing outline. You will find a link to the rotary attachment in the video description below. I have also included a discount coupon so you could save some money if you decide to buy it. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.